Let's go to the library. Hello, my name is Rachel, and I'm a librarian. Have you ever searched for a great new book? Or wanted to join a group with other kids who love to read? You can do all of these things at my favorite place, the library. This part of the library is for children. Lots of children, just like you, come here with their parents or friends when they are learning to read. We even have story time, where all the children gather to listen to me read them a special story. Grown-ups visit the library every day. Sometimes they want to read about imaginary people and places. These stories are called fiction. People tell me the kind of story they would like, and I help them find a book they would enjoy reading. A student writing a history paper might come to the library. Written material about real people, places, and things is nonfiction. If people know which book they are looking for, they can search for it on computers and find that book in the library. Do you want to know what happened in your town 100 years ago? The library has archives, historical documents to help people learn about the past. Many libraries have copies of old newspapers, magazines, and books that you can look at in person or on the computer. Do you know what a periodical is? It's just another name for a magazine. You can find periodicals about sports, medicine, movies, and more at your library. Most libraries also let you digitally download periodicals at home. All you need is your library card and a computer. The library has more than just reading materials. You can learn by watching videos and listening to new music. You can even hear your favorite story on audiobooks. A universe of music, video, and audio is there to help you discover new things. When people leave the library, they can take a book home with them. They can check books out with a library card. People can also download books from the library on their own computers or tablets at home. The library is your ticket to the world.